Hi, I'm Carla from Fashion Future and we're here today with Nicholas Huxley, the head of the fashion design studio at TAFE New South Wales Sydney Institute. Well done. How are you going? Good, good. How are you? Very good. Thank so you. So this is our um, the Fashion Futures third year collaboration with um, you guys at TAFE New South Wales. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. yeah um, how did it start and, and where are you going with it? Um, well, Pam came to see me three years ago about uh, my thoughts on the whole idea. I thought it was fantastic. You know, um, just another way of opening up um, knowledge of the course, of what I do, what the students can achieve and um, all the things that we're involved with, you know, whether here in Sydney na or nationally or internationally. So, you know, that's how it all started. And um, since then, you know, I've been a mentor for some really quite fantastic people. Yeah. And um, it's just um, onwards and upwards. And um, so Fashion Week in 2011, how are you feeling about it? Um, what's in store for it? Um, you know, like Fashion Week with me producing a show that was basically after the inaugural Fashion Week and um, the second, second year it was on, I basically had gone to see Simon Locke about doing a parade of the new up-and-comings. What had happened was that I'd seen the schedule for the original year and I looked at it and I'd circled everything and I said to Simon, look at this, and he said, what's this about? And I said, there, it's 80% of the week are graduates of ours. Wow. So I thought, you know, listen, why don't we do a, a parade of the new yeah. people to watch? And uh, and that's how it actually happened. Yeah. And then, you know, it's just progressed and progressed. So, you know, Dion Lee and all the guys that have just gone through and um, have done so well for themselves. I've got four girls this year. We've got Anna Westcott, um, Emma Mulholland, Leah Hibbert and Charlotte O'Carrigan. It's colourful, it's textural. Um, they're using um, s some sort of unusual fabrications amongst it all, like um, some sort of types of plastics and like some really interesting concepts. Uh, um, every year there's something different that you, you look for when you're, when you're considering who are going to be the people for Fashion Week, yeah. for the Innovators Parade. And um, I just looked at our end of year parade last year and watched their collections and uh, I thought that's a really nice mix. Is there a special process that you go through to choose the four designers that will ultimately show at Fashion Week or do you just go with your instinct? I've got to look at professional attitude and work ethic. I've got to look at the make, the fit, the whole look of what's different about mm. it. You know, this is a, a media thing for us and it's a stepping stone for the guys. So, mm. you know, I'm sort of looking at all those sort of things and that's how I sort of get together with the people that yeah. I've, I choose. And do you think Fashion Week is still relevant with the evolution of bloggers and people and um, live streaming of fashion shows? I think so. Uh, you know, um, it's become, it's one of those like, like around the world, whether it be in Paris or Milan or London or New York, it's just part of being able to see what's out there, whether it be positive or negative. It's being part of, we are an industry, and it's being part of that, you know, a combined group of people who get together to um, see what's happening. Otherwise, you don't see it. You see editorials, and you see fashion shoots, and you see things in magazines, but most of that stuff's been paid for. It's, be, it's a commercial viable thing. It's not about what's really happening out there a lot of the time. So this is a way that we can get to see, and you know, things like the new gen parades and you know, names that platform. you've never heard of. It's a platform for them. And most of the time what happens, and I hear it from a lot of people, they're the praise that people really are looking forward to seeing because what happens with the more established labels, the stuff's not, are, are already in the shops or the look is already there. Mm. So, you know, it's a way of seeing the new and up and coming, which is quite exciting. Yeah. And otherwise you wouldn't, wouldn't, there wouldn't be a, a platform to see them. I know I have the staff of um, IMG come to me waiting for our Thursday parade because they say, you know, after four days of watching this, we can't wait to see something creative and innovative and, you know, a bit of a show. Mm. You know? Exciting. That fashion week. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> it's great.